friends welcome to the channel i'm v and this is v travels the world so come with me on this three-day margaritaville at sea cruise so you guys this cruise actually leaves from the port of palm beach in riviera beach florida so you guys as you can see we are approaching the valet parking area and you guys it is valet parking only so this valet parking is $19 a day for three days. So you guys, as you can see, we're going here on the left through the security checkpoint and on your right is what we are avoiding. So because we have the license to chill package, we are actually escorted up through guest services to go ahead and book our excursions and any add-ons that we want to add as well as dinner reservations. So this is our escort Dina who took us up through the elevators and past that huge line. So you guys, if you're wondering if it's worth doing the license to chill package, it is so then we went through afterwards and went to this vip lounge and waited here until we were able to board the ship so once we were able to board the ship this is what it looks like in the main lobby when you first come in and then you're going to go down the hall and we went back to the five o'clock somewhere bar here as we waited for our room to be ready so this is what the bar looks like and they will offer you drinks and you can sit there and lounge. Over here is Peanut Island, you guys. This is where I've always wanted to go and lived here forever and have never been. And right over there is a Singer Island Bridge where we actually go swim and play with the kids. So yeah, just a couple landmarks for you guys. Here is our room. So we actually had a window view state room. We were in 6042. So this is what the room looks like. Pretty nice, pretty clean. They actually included those robes as well as beach towels because we got the license to chill package. So I will talk about more about that package actually in my next video. Just giving an overall review of the actual cruise. But here I'm just going to take you on a little vlog, show you what we did, show you what the ship looks like and things like that. So this is the room. As you can see, that's the little vanity area there. That's the front door over here is where the tv is up here in the corner and this is our window those i believe are king size queen size i'm sorry queen size beds and this is our little port window where we can look out and see the beautiful views so that's what the room looks like and here is the port of indecision buffet this buffet was actually open when we first got on the ship but we were unaware so we were not able to eat here because we actually ate before we got on the ship because we just didn't know so just so you know this is the first area where you have different selections that you can choose from and i'm actually going to walk you down there's plenty of seating here but if not i'm going to show you somewhere else that you can actually sit and this is the other part of the buffet here and then as you will see to, to your left there are drinks there's like a little pastry area where there's cakes and things like that and here is the five o'clock somewhere bar where we waited for our room to be ready and as you can see there is more seating out here so right behind me is actually the Cheeseburger Paradise restaurant, but it actually was not open at this time when I was recording it. So this is another area where you can sit, where you can lounge, where you can have lunch if there is no space inside. So here we are in the inner deck area where there's entertainment, there are live games, that's where they have the sail away party and just different things like that that are going on near the pool. So these are elevators that'll take you up and down the ship, depending on what level you wanna be on. And this is what it looks like as we sail away from Palm Beach. And these are the homes on Palm Beach Island off to your left hand side. And that was just a very nice view. 
So back here on the back of the ship, this is where the adult only pool is. So there is an adult only area and that's where it is. That's where the hot tubs are as well. They're pretty small, but there are two there and you can actually go down a little farther in front, like a little closer to the water. So then after walking around for a bit, I did go back to my room, relax a little bit to prepare for our massage. So with the license to chill package, there was actually a um, 30 minute, there was actually a 30 minute massage for two. So it was a couple's massage and it was phenomenal, you guys. It was absolutely worth paying for the license to chill package. So if you ask me, that package just for skipping the line and for the massage was definitely worth it. So we had our massage there in that left room that you saw there, and that's the gym. So you are gonna have a safety briefing here in the auditorium theater, and later on at night they do shows in there, which I did not go see, but my husband did. So, this is what it looks like when the sun is setting from our room, and it looks gorgeous, you guys. So here is the very, very next morning. We woke up in Freeport and it is beautiful. So I was expecting the water to be really, really clear, but it wasn't yet, but it gets there. So I got dressed for breakfast and we went to the JWB Steakhouse. This is where we had breakfast every morning. We did not do the buffet because this was also included in the license to chill package. <laughs> The breakfast was really, really good, really, really fresh. And this is what it looks like where we are here in Freeport, Grand Bahamas. So you're gonna get off the ship and we decided to go ahead and go out for the day. We didn't stay on the ship, we did do an excursion. And this is a little bus that we took and we went to the Lighthouse Point at Grand Lucaya Resort. So I believe this was like $100 per person to Thank do this you. excursion. <laughs> Thank you. And we just spent the day here. And this is what it looks like inside of the resort. They're gonna give you a wristband and allow you entry to the back. You have access to the pools. You have access to um, food. I believe they have a buffet. And you have access to the beach. And you're celebrating a birthday anniversary. Come on down and let me know. In 20 minutes, we're gonna start off with our first game, which is musical chairs. In about 20 minutes, we're gonna start off with our first game, which is musical chairs. We definitely enjoyed the time out here. It wasn't too hot. It was just perfect. So while we were out there at the resort, a guy came up and he was actually selling right, excursions. So we hadn't hold even booked this banana boat cruise, but this was so, so perfect. I believe this was like $35 per person and he pulled us on the back of his boat. He took us to the dolphin, um, the dolphin excursion, but it was already closed. So we weren't able to actually participate, but we did see a couple of dolphin that jumped out of the water. And you can see there one just was swimming by. So we got to see them. We just didn't get to swim with them or anything like that. So that was really a great little excursion. They took us through Bahamas and it was really, really nice, about an hour. So then we had to go ahead and head back to the little shops. And before we actually left and got back on the bus, everybody was saying we had to stop at the coke stand, so we did. If you are a lover of Kunk lobster and things like that, you might want to try this spot here. Um, I did try it out. I didn't love it, but I'm not going to say it was bad either. Um, it just wasn't my favorite, but I did try it. Thank you. 
After this, we had to hurry and run back to the bus because we actually almost got left. So um, there is a designated pickup time. So you guys be mindful of that because we almost got left in the Bahamas. <laughs> but just so you know um, what the prices are like, these are the prices there and this is the stand. Um, you actually can't miss it. So then we were on our bus and we headed back to the ship but they do have little stands where you can shop before you get back on the bus. And then in the building, you will go through customs again, be checked and you will board the actual ship again. So back on the ship, I just took some time to relax by the pool and we, they had some dancing going on and right through there is the arcade. Here's the spa through there. And if you turn and look this way, you will actually see the pool showers. Over here in the middle of the deck is going to be the main pool. So children are allowed in this pool as well as adults. And then right through here, you will see the Port of Indecision Buffet that I showed you guys earlier. And that's pretty much the mid deck. You can walk around or whatever, what have you. So yeah, so I went ahead and got ready for dinner. And this night, the second night, we actually had dinner at Finn's and it was good it wasn't bad okay so it's eggplant but it's rolled with this is um this is um ricotta cheese on the inside so it's rolled up like a so you're supposed to i guess you're supposed to kind of like Then for dinner, I actually decided on the prime rib and I believe I had green beans. Later on that night in the Euphoria Lounge, they always had activities going on and they had a dance, a line dance um, this night. It was really cute and really fun to watch. So. So the next morning we did our wine tasting and we had our breakfast at the steakhouse before we actually got off of the cruise. We had a special disembarkation where we were escorted off and fast tracked home because of our license to chill package and it was so so worth it. So all in all I enjoyed this cruise. Once again this was a first time cruise so it was something just to help me to see if I would be tolerable of the waves and of the sailing and things like that and i actually like be it. sure to hit that subscribe button you guys and if you have any questions leave your questions down below um next video that i create is going to be a full review of my thoughts and different things that we experienced on the ship what we liked what we didn't like and things like that so look forward to that full review in my next video thank you all so much for watching until next time bye